Hey guys, welcome back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel. So today, bear with me, there is dino footage and more. I just want to give an update for those who need an update. Because they got a lot of stuff that's been dragging out. So, yes, Dragonfly's turbo going to the track. That's what we're going to have the dino footage of. I just wanted to double check a couple things and then it's off and I got work to do today. Gabriel Calisto Gonzalez. I believe I pronounced that right. Sorry if I butchered it. His bike is tuned on motor, tuned on 100 shot. I have to pill it up. I ran out of nitrous. Chatrick's bike, running, ready to rock. We got Roy Brown's bike here. It is tuned as sits, but he wants to put a high boost switch on there at 360 horsepower, so we gotta go ahead and put together one of our simple boost controls, get it on there, get that tuned on high. Same with his black bike. Let's see, what do we got? We got Chris Charles waiting on cases to come back from getting drilled. Uh, Peoples, he's waiting on him to bring me a turbo kit and then so on and so forth parts. Waiting on Chad to get some connectors together so I can put a max on that. We have Mopar Boost's bike here getting updates to Max ECU. I'm waiting on fittings from Finish Line Factory. They shipped me someone else's order, so that has me delayed something fierce, which is driving me nuts. I was hoping to have that done this weekend. Not happening. Parts were delivered on Thursday. Wrong parts. And then we got Rob Clements here. I have a false limiter I cannot get past. Sometimes professional has to admit they're stumped. So I'm pulling some people on board, including David Ligori, this week on a remote tuning session with this to see if we can figure this thing out. Because once I get past this limiter, all I got to do is button up the pretties, iron out the tune, and it can go. But I got to figure out why I won't rev past 7,000. Don't know what it is. I'll figure it out. I'm going to button up some things today on this, and I have to tune Boss Man over here today. So I'm going to tune Boss Man, jump on this, finish wiring up the boost control and plumbing everything so it's ready for the dyno, and then figure out what day David can get online with me, and we're going to go ahead and uh, remote tag team that thing, and if David can't get it, I'll get with Testa, see if he wants to jump in. We're going to figure this thing out. I am determined. Uh, but that's where we're at. So for now, we're going to go ahead and make a few pulls on Dragonfly. I promised y'all I would show you the power numbers that Turbo Kit's capable of. And I will tell you, I've already made the pulls, and it is maxed out. Here we go. Grab these. We're gonna go ahead and save this. Just give me a second. Save D Fly Turbo Scramble Low. Alright, so that second run was Dragonfly with the Scramble on Low. So let's see what we got going on here. We got a nice 290 at 10.5. It probably would have kept climbing. Uh, Got to see how far it's going to want to climb. I'm going to change my shift points. 
Let's overlay that with Dragonfly Turbo Low. And you can definitely see a difference <laughs> between the low and the high. Definitive difference, I mean that's 158 foot pounds of torque versus 135. She's putting down right at about 300 right now. Lowest boost setting is 234, which is actually a nice boost setting. It'll do well with a bone stock motor. So probably going to be what this kit will come out with. I've already sold it to Rob Clement, so it's going to be going on his BUSA. Uh, but yeah, it's going to come out with roughly right around the same 234. And what is that torque? 135 foot-pounds of torque, which should be pretty freaking zesty for a street bike. I'm going to go ahead and plug in here, see what it made for boost, and we'll go from there. All right, folks, so we've gone ahead and turned off the auto shift that I was hitting that I forgot all about. And the first pull there, that was wastegate, 5 PSI, 234 horsepower, like I said. The second pull there, that was 10 pounds on the dome on the scramble. That's my bracket racing oh shit button. Got me 290. So we've gone ahead and programmed it with 15 on the dome for this pass. We're going to log it this time so I can actually see what's going on, although I know what's going on. I've already track tuned this. And we've turned off the auto shift and set my dash so I know where I'm at. So we're going to go ahead and make a pull probably to 11.5 or 12,000 RPM, maybe 12.5, I don't know. I set it at 13,000 and uh, see what she does. Close out all these here windows. Alright. New console. Here we go. After this, it's going to need a pretty good cool down. This thing doesn't have fans and not the best cooling system. pounds of boost let's get you up here that is going to be the peak this system will put out because as you can see we pull up and then we run out of turbo and the back pressure starts climbing so really I need to 15 on the dome be my cap and be shifting at about 10 2 short shift in the daylights out of this thing because it really doesn't doesn't keep pulling above that now comparably the lower boost settings did so I can do 10 5 and just try not to hit 18 pounds of boost but that was 346 horsepower that is everything this turbo kit should make it max is right at around 340 so right about 18 pounds of boost is everything she got now i couldn't leave y'all without at least a little two-step action so Let's see if i can blow my eardrums out real quick this should if it's the same as it was yesterday this should be a fairly spicy lower rpm two-step Two 
two-step action. 